Alright, it's time for game two in the summer circuit. Well, actually, it's kind of game one. Just finished on my draft combined, got drafted to the Detroit Pistons. Getting ready. So, Irma Smalls, shooting guard, making his way. And for some of you, I know I might sound a little bit different, that's because I'm sick, so I'm sorry about that. Alright, we're getting set for game two here. Uh, this commentary isn't live. Um, I'm not, I won't be able to do live commentaries for a while because of the distance from where my computer is to where my PlayStation is. So that's not going to be possible, so I'll just commentate over this. Just see me step back, pop the uh, mid-range shot in his face. Uh, my player isn't really the best at shooting, like he's okay. I think his overall in this game was 75 or something, I'm not 100% sure about that, so um, don't take my word for certain or whatever you want to call it. So uh, yeah, uh, I've been working him up, I've just been training, done a few drills, learned to fly. Uh, so uh, for some of you that might have seen it, uh, at E3, they actually had uh, NBA 2K12 uh, on demo, they actually had 2K on the move. That's where you play um, NBA 2K12 with PlayStation Move Remote. There's only two buttons I think, or I think it was just pass and shoot. I find that a little bit stupid because like, what if you want to do all those spin moves or something? But I don't know, they haven't released any other information about that. But they actually had Kobe Bryant come up and and like uh, test it out. They showed you see you hear, you see him playing it as the Lakers against Miami. I so far have seen no difference in 2K11 and 12. So far the graphics seem the same. The crowd seems the same, the jump shots seem the same, well I've seen a difference in uh, D Wade's jump shot seems a little different. But uh, other than that, I've seen like, everything seems the same. I know that there's still a long time until it comes out, uh, like they said, uh, I think uh, the release date's October 4th. So it's a long time from now, so they are still tweaking a few stuff. But uh, what we have seen so far still looks the same. But I'm hoping that they can change something like my player or the association. Uh, I'm hoping for better graphics, like I know 2K11 had amazing graphics, but I'm hoping they can fix up like 2K12 multiplayer graphics. Oh no, what am I talking about multiplayer, sorry, my player, my player graphics. Thinking too much about uh, Modern Warfare 3. <laughs> but yeah, I hope they can fix them up. And um, what else do I want in 2K12? I want better servers, uh, so you can play your crew games, so you can play online. Uh, I know they're okay on the Xbox, when I tried playing on the PlayStation, it wasn't really the best. So, I uh, hope they can fix that up there. Uh, what else? Uh, 2K11 was named the greatest sports game. So, uh, I'm thinking, will 2K like, in, like travel in the fast lane? Will they take a layup or will they take the dunk? They have no competition this year. EA isn't making any NBA games, so it's just 2K. So I'm starting to think like if they're just going to do a 2K11 repeat with just a few little um, tweaks. If, if it is the case, I might as well just release a DLC with like new players and just some new dunk packages or something. If that's going to be the case. Because when they had competition last year when it was supposed to be NBA Elite 11, well, when uh, EA like decided not to release because of a glitch they couldn't release that was in the... Uh, that was in the demo, uh, they decided not to make it, so 2K, they were still working on their game, and that, it was amazing, 2K11 is an amazing game. So with EA gone, they have no other competition, um, I'm thinking like, are they going to take the easy way out and just make a plain old NBA game, or will they try and outdo themselves with 2K11? Uh, what else is there? That's about it that I could think of for 2K12. Uh, um, I just really, really, I just really want to see who the cover athlete is. So far, uh, my guess is probably LeBron. Seeing, uh, Le uh, I'm thinking maybe LeBron or Dirk, but the chances of Dirk are pretty low compared to LeBron, seeing as it is the Mavs and Miami in the final at the moment, and the Heat are dominating. Well, you, well, they're kind of dominating at the moment. I think they're up two and one, or maybe after you see this, it could be three and one or three or two and two. 
because I'm not able to watch the game where I'm at. So it's my loss. So uh, yeah, cover, cover athlete will be a pretty good thing. I, I'm really like itching to see who's a cover athlete. Some people saying, uh, or some people suggesting Derrick Rose, the 2011 MVP. I think that'll be an okay cover, but I still think someone like LeBron should be able to have it. Uh, but that's only if Miami could win the championship. If LeBron, uh, if LeBron plays good enough in the playoffs, or in the finals, that's where we're at now, because LeBron's just been beasting at the moment defensively. Uh, Dear Wizzy, or Dwayne Wade, if some of you might not know, he's been doing great on offense. Him and LeBron on the fast break are unstoppable. Chris Bosh in uh, the last game, where he hit that uh, game winner, that was pretty good. So, but I doubt they'll have Chris Bosh on the cover. Two years ago, maybe it would have been good to see Chris Bosh. But now seeing him in Miami, I don't think it would be a good look for him to be on the cover. That's just my opinion. Dwayne Wade had the NBA Live 06, I think it was, cover. So I'm thinking maybe they might have LeBron. Or it will be okay to see Dirk, but I think more people like to see LeBron. Like, uh, I'm an Orlando fan. I was happy when I had NBA Live 10. When Dwight was on the cover, I got uh, I actually got Live 10. But I still found 2K 10 to be better. Like, 2K, in my opinion, are always going to do out to EA. I think EA should just stick to their FIFA games because they're pretty good. Like, I'm not a soccer fan, but I've seen the FIFA 12 uh, gameplay and it actually looks pretty good. Um, there isn't really much to talk about uh, this game. You just see me just running around doing my thing, get this game one of the summer circuit. Uh, I'm hoping to actually make the team, or actually like make the NBA, but I want them to give me the option to get traded, or I'm going to request for a trade because I don't want to be in Detroit, because for one, Detroit has too many shooting guards, so um, that's not going to be too good for me, I don't think I'll get much playing time, uh, or if I do get playing time, they're just going to put me up to say a small forward or sometimes power forward, because that's what they did in the draft combined, and that wasn't really too good for me, I, I, I'm this little guy, and I'm going up against those big power forwards, so... I'm thinking maybe I've gone to Indiana or maybe Memphis. Uh, they'll be okay for shooting guard. But I know that actually those teams do have great shooting guards. It'll be hard for me to make the starting lineup. But I'm just going to have to try out. Like, I don't know if I've said this already, but I'm not really the best at 2K11. I just have fun playing it. And I like NBA. So, uh, yeah, like don't, don't expect me to be like full on 99 overall or something. Oh, and be able to let it fly from three, just getting it in all the time. Like I'm just your average player. I will make this, uh, silly mistakes, but I also recover from them. Uh, usually, the plays that I create, I tend to make them something that I'd like to be. I'd like I'd like to be a shooting guard, but in reality, when I play, I'm the center. But I don't really like playing as a center because um, the, uh, I like to, I like to have the fast player. I know you can build up a center to be fast, but to have like a small fast guy that can that can drive in and be able to make it from three or mid range with like without hesitating. Uh, over here, just the end of the quarter, just take last second shot to end of the third quarter. And if you can see, we're up by three. I'm not sure if you've been paying attention to the score. Like I know the score's pretty low. It's the fourth quarter already, and it's only 30 to 27. I play five minute quarters, but I'm thinking about. I'll be down up to 7 when I make the NBA, or if I make the NBA. Um, if you have paid attention to the scores, when I, like, I'm not trying to sound cocky or anything, but when I was on the court, my team is doing pretty good. I get off the court, I come back on, and the other team scores. Like, if you just see it there, I got off, I come back on, look at the scores. We're only up by 1, and yeah. So if you notice, like, when they do tag me up and put me back on, we tend to start like slacking off. Like, again, I'm not trying to sound cocky or anything, but that's just the way I, that's, that's just what I've noticed. Uh, 2K tries to, tries to screw you out of it, if you can say. Um, so, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm hoping to make, I'm not, I'm not I don't want to make the Dirt Pistons, because, like, there's too many shooting guards. I'd like to make a lower class team, mid first, but maybe even Washington, I'll be okay, team up with j -Wall. Uh I, I wouldn't want to make a A-class team like the um, 
Oh, here's the cap. So yeah, look at the score. 48 to 54. Well, uh, scrap what I was about to say. Game is over. We lose. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, sorry about my voice. I'm a little sick. But uh, I'll be back for the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.